Hi there, Sagittarius. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, looking at the first full week of 2016, January 4 through January 10. And what have, has the universe in store for us? Well, it's all very interesting and it's unfortunate for many, for all of us really, in that Mercury, the planet of communication and clear thinking, takes his first break for 2016 this week. He starts his retrograde in Aquarius, your third house of siblings and communication. And then he backtracks further into Capricorn, your second house of money and self-esteem and self-worth. Now he's going to be out of phase in Capricorn from the 8th through the 25th. And so you really have to be careful, Sagittarians, about you know, bank balances and credit card statements and not losing things that are financially important to you. For example, so many people drive off with their purse on top of their car because that's where they put it when they get in their car, although I never quite understand that, putting your purse on top of it, but people do that. Or, you know, leaving it somewhere or having your identity stolen by you not um, shredding documents and just putting them into the garbage bin where people go through. You've just got to be really, really careful about that sort of stuff. You've also got to be careful about checks you receive and putting money in the bank that, you're, that you get the right receipt back and making payments online that you're extra careful because it really can screw up your cash flow having Mercury retrograde. Now, the second piece of information is that your ruler, Jupiter, the biggest planet in the zodiac and the planet of good luck and opportunity, also chooses this week to go retrograde through May 9 in Virgo, which for you is your 10th house of career and reputation. What you do over the next couple of months career-wise is going to be very important and impact your long-term future career-wise. The lucky breaks and the wonderful things that may have been occurring for you over the past couple of months are not going to just go away, but they're going to be less than and maybe not as big as you had thought they were going to be. And through May 9, you may have to cool your jets just a little bit, Sagittarius, and ride out any kind of storm until you feel as if the planets are willing to meet you halfway because sometimes you have very big dreams which can turn into big disappointments when they're not fulfilled. So rather than that, than that have that happen, I think it's important that you set a priority list this week and work out what it is you really want to do while Jupiter is retrograde and Mercury is retrograde and so many planets are in Earth signs which is much more serious for you and you know really pick those things that you know you're going to be able to do rather than waste time and energy and get stressed out about trying to do things that are simply impossible under the current planetary circumstances. Have a wonderful week. And as much bad news as I've given you, I know that you're sitting there thinking it's going to be fine because you're an optimist and that's fabulous. And I'll speak to you again next week.